guys, it's Whitney B. Today we're going to be doing another product review, and this time it is on something I've never tried or heard of until pretty recently. It is a silk, silk pour exfoliating cleanser. Um, and they're supposed to help exfoliate your skin. I'm on the fence about it because in skincare there are two general areas of exfoliation. There's a physical exfoliation and then there's a chemical exfoliation. Um, physical is probably the more dominant and more popular in our culture. Um, I know like a lot of drugstore brands like St. Ives, the apricots like scrub is really popular and like pretty well known. Like anything that has any kind of nut or shell or little micro bead that's supposed to physically exfoliate, that's considered the physical exfoliation. Chemical exfoliation are ones that use different types of acids and uh, other ingredients in their care to help exfoliate without actually physically uh, That was to let me know it's been two minutes since I soaked my little silk pod. <laughs> so I thought I was going to be smart, you know, on those cooking channels where you're cooking shit. But then they pull out the fixed product like that and it's like, let's go ahead and see what it would look like if it was in the oven for 45 minutes. Well, that's what I did. I soaked my little silk pod. <laughs> Didn't time it well, but I'm going to keep letting it soak. So I prefer the chemical exfoliant, which has gotten more popular like the past couple of years just because it's less abrasive on the skin. So if you think about it, a physical exfoliant is literally you're rubbing it onto your face to like Scratch is a pretty, pretty strong word, but that is what it's doing. It's physically rubbing itself across the skin to remove the dead skin cells, and the things that you don't want on your face anymore. If you can imagine, that can be harsh, depending on the product. That can cause some issues. So what can happen with these products, not all of them, and I'm not saying this happens every time, but they can cause microabrasions on your face. Micro just means very small, really can't be seen with the eye. Abrasions is just a wound on your skin. So these microabrasions allow for bacteria to go into them and form pimples or other little issues on your skin. So that's why I personally have stopped using physical exfoliants because I don't need help with getting pimples. My body's good on doing that on its own. So chemical exfoliants are less abrasive in that sense. Now there are chemical exfoliants that can burn, that can cause redness, that can cause inflammation. So both of them have their pros and cons. I prefer the chemical and I prefer like a very mild type, like I really like AHA and BHA acids with helping like hydrate the skin but also make sure that the dead skin cells are getting off and that your skin has that cell turnover in a way that it's beneficial for you to have beautiful, radiant, glowing skin. So that's the basics on exfoliants. Now the silk pour, the little pot of silk, is a physical exfoliant. It's physically going around wherever you have blackheads, um, congested pores, areas that maybe you have some kind of dry patchiness, and physically rubbing them off. So <laughs> that's suggestive. Um, so we're going to try it. So I have soaked it in warm water for two minutes as told by the package. I'm going to zoom you in. It's going to get close. Hello? So we're going to take the silk pod, put it on our finger, and it says literally to massage it across the areas that are bad. So my nose is bad. Am I holding this right? Oh, it feels weird. What is it? Get it around my blackheads. So, and then I'm going to go around this area. Don't get close to your under eye area. That's a very delicate skin area. We don't need to be messing that up any. So I'm going to stick to my nose. Going to move down to my chin. I don't know. I don't like this. It feels like a dried piece of paper towel. Or, um, what is that stuff when you make like parade floats? Like the dried paper. What is that? Paper mache? Is that it? How long does one do this? It doesn't feel nice. I don't like this. Application wise, this doesn't, no, ow. There's nothing on the actual silk pad itself. There's nothing, I mean, it looks pretty similar to how I started. Overall, it did nothing. <laughs> it did nothing but turn my face really red. I mean, it's smooth, like where I used it, my face is smoother. But the pores, it says it removes blackheads, it did not. 
It says that it unclogs your pores. It doesn't. I don't know. So the product says you can use it one to three times a week, which is pretty traditional for some kind of exfoliant, but it didn't do anything. And I will keep doing it. I will do three times a week to see maybe if it needs a couple of goes. But I think, I don't think it's gonna work. Real life, this was terrible. 25 count, I have 25 of these damn things. And you can even reuse the single one it said. You can just like peel off. Do you see like that little like kind of stringy part? You just peel it off and then keep using it a couple of times. So economically it would be great because I bought this whole 25 count for like four bucks. So my wallet wants to like it. <laughs> does not do a good job. I have a different product that's a chemical exfoliator that does 100 times better. So I'll just stick with that for now. So overall, silk pour. Blackhead Miracle Declogger does not work. Don't, nah. There's other products out there that are better. So the Silk Pore Exfoliator Cleanser claims to exfoliate complexion, clean pores, remove sebum, blackheads, and dead skin cells. So that's a pretty bold claim. Softens and smooths skin. It says to soak exfoliator in warm water for two minutes, which I did, you heard my little alarm go off, before placing over finger, any marks, irregularities, ir irregularities, irregularities, can't say that word, um, on part of the cleanser is normal as it's a natural production process, which is another thing that they're going for. Like the silk is natural. It's a natural product, something that's found out in nature, out in the wild with the little silkworms. So that's another reason they're trying to throw it out there. It seems more organic. You know the, the bugle trip, the chips, the bugle chips, long triangular ones you know you put them on your fingers when you were a kid because it made you look like you had witch fingers well these call the same urge to me <laughs> hello <laughs> hello like little et fingers ah. i'm an adult one of the reasons that they created this product right why does this exist if it sucks the way that it does so silk you think about silk, right? It's luxurious, it's smooth, it's, but you know, it's smooth. And it's supposed to be very gentle. They're putting it out there that this is a silk pour. So it's made from silk. It's the little like nest of silkworms, I guess. So it's supposed to be gentle on your skin, but still do a really good job at exfoliating. 